Remember, everyone, I'm your elected official, your mayor, and you elected me on a ticket of probity as well as democracy. <laughs> this is a fair town, and a nice town, and a proper town, and as such, it's a town for fair and nice and proper people. This is Strawberry, West Elizabeth, and I'm your mayor, Good morning, and you're my, our citizens, and you'll be fair and proper and like-minded, or we will not tolerate you in our town. Hey there. Hello, sir, and welcome to Strawberry. Please make yourself at home. But treat our town with respect. Thank you. It's a magnificent little community we are building here. Almost Tolstoyan, if you know what that means. I don't. Well, neither do I, but it sounds very interesting. And we love interesting people. Please make yourself at home, but be nice. I may only be the mayor of a small town, but trust me, there is no finer job in this world. I am doing God's work. <laughs> I am shaping lives and raising the level of civilization in our region. Strawberry is a nice place for nice folks. An American place for American folks. We encourage those who ain't nice and ain't proper or ain't American to keep on moving. That's democracy. The people have spoken and they elected me. And I believe wholeheartedly in fairness, probity and dignity we can compete with new england when it comes to manners and fine breeding we is proper and those that ain't will discover that though we may be kind and fair we ain't afraid of justice the new sheriff has my blessing Okay there. Don't think this day can get much worse. Well, no one said life was gonna be easy. <laughs> well, look who's come to see me. You ever wake up down here? Think you've died and gone to hell? I would have been gone. You done your job and killed me when we fought. I prefer to let our noble legal system deal with you. Lazy folk around here, aren't you? Big man shooting his lip when he knows he's got guards. Ah, hello. I don't think I gave a receipt last time, did I? Let me do that right now. So, uh, do you want this? So, what are we looking at? This is a big one. Armored bank and coach heading into Strawberry. You'll probably need something to blow the doors. All right. Good seeing you, Hector.
You need something else then? Oh, it's you. Didn't recognize you for a minute there. Hey, you. Thanks, Mister. What's your damn problem? Some place I can take you.
Just calm down. What's with you then? Hey there, kitty. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Oh, There's no hello problem again. Here. Bad news, I'm afraid. I'm out of the information business. The law's just getting too suspicious. It was good while it lasted, but there we go. Thank you for your help. Welcome. In the mood for a show? Take it for one, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. Destination of their choice. The lame 
and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows, and are off to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by and by. Whoa, easy. Yeah. Yeah.
Settle down, boy. Whoa. <laughs> Hamish, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well... Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on, now, Tyron, I got you. I got you. Come on. <laughs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, hey, Stay there. I'm throwing out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. Hey. Come on up here. anything uh, just my rod uh, we got my toes too they weren't wooden you want another go at him I still got my lure nah. he's your fish now cast away we'll come at him from the other way row over there 
When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be his first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Come on! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Reel it in. Yes! Don't let him pull you. Start reeling. Steady. Strong, ain't he? Bring it in now. to real. He's tiring, all right. Try pulling that rod up as you reel. Sorry for. You caught him. I throw back. Here, here, oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may.
Come on, girl. Dumbass. <laughs> Good. You seen Mike in Dutch's ear the whole time? Yeah. He's been stirring up stuff about you and John. Oh, don't worry. I can still get through to Dutch. All right. Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Arthur. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? We'll work something out, I promise. Okay, Arthur. Hi, Uncle. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. <laughs> How are you doing? Everything's falling apart. What are we gonna do, Arthur? I'm just hang in there, okay? Uh-huh. Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Don't stray too far. I won't. Need to keep you inside, okay? okay. How are you doing? I wish people would stop me. Yeah. I can't take I'm everyone here. going at each other. Hi, Arthur. Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. No. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Hi, Reverend. Hello, Mr. Morgan. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Keep it up. Be well. Okay, Abigail. Hello, Arthur. How you doing? Confused? Worried? What's happened to all you boys? Just keep your head down for now. I suppose so. John? Hell of a time, Arthur. How did it come to this? I don't have a short answer to that. Well... We had a lot of good years. Be strong. Poor Karen. You don't look so good. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? I'm only concerned.
Ah, shoot. Well, hi. Place is on edge. You okay, Susan? All those years and look at us. It's pathetic. I know. I just ain't sure what to do. Yes, yes. Hi, Tilly. Arthur. You okay? All this whispering and walking on eggshells, I hate it. I know, but that's how things are right now. Don't know what to do with myself around here. Karen. Look who it is. Oh, Look, Arthur. Hey, Big, you? tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Because a good, sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Hi. 